Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take your floor plan from Revit and then export it into SketchUp or into any other um, CAD viewer. So in uh, since Revit is an Autodesk product, you can um, export it as a CAD file, as an AutoCAD file pretty easily. You just go to File. Make sure you're in the floor plan view that you'd like to export. Go to File, Export, CAD Formats. DWG, then simply hit next, um, you'll save it. I'm going to give it a name, just floor plan CAD, and uh, hit OK. So that's going to export your floor plan. Then in a 3D viewer like SketchUp, I can go, if I want to go into top view, I can go to file import and go to my, find my file. And it loads it and it should be to scale. Um, certain text objects and things uh, won't import properly into SketchUp, but this whole thing is one uh, grouped component. So I can move this individually if i wanted to individually delete some annotations i can double click it and then delete as needed um, so that's how to get your get your uh, revit floor plan into sketchup from here so for example if we wanted to create um, a, a roof framing plan we could certainly do that um, you'd want to make sure that you understand the location of your roof in relation to the floor plan. So, you know, make sure that it's dimensioned properly. You know, if I know that I have a two foot overhang from my wall here, this is showing a glass curtain wall here or a storefront glazing system. So I can uh, dimension in SketchUp. that actually just take a measurement so if I know that's two foot six I can move this wall accordingly so I can move that six inches down um, so I would go in and just draw the extents of my roof The other way to do this is I could go into Revit and in my site plan view, if I were to export this, I've, I've hidden my roof in, in this scenario. Um, if I turn that back on, I can right click, say unhide and view elements, bring that back. Okay, so now I have my roof with my skylights. This is showing a standing C metal roof. So this is just the project default in Revit. Um, this is the sample project that loads with Revit. So they have a standing seam metal roof back in site plan. That's what we're seeing with these lines. So not necessarily referring to my roof rafters here, but I can still export this view. So if I go to file, export, add formats, DWG, say roof plan, I can then go back into SketchUp and I can import that as well. I could overlay it. So you'll notice now I have two drawings. So I can, I have my roof plan here and my floor plan here. So for example, if my roof plan, um, my roof plan was uh, if my roof overhanged my floor plan and these were two separate dimensions I could I could take that and compare them so if I wanted to move this I'm using the M tool to move I could kind of cross-reference one drawing to the other 
you can do this in Revit using the underlay tool, but in SketchUp, I'm just comparing the two drawings. But either way, you can use this to get started. And then to in SketchUp, if you wanted to draft your um, roof framing plan, you could just use the line tool and then just start drawing all of your rafters. So choose the kind of short direction. That's going to be the dimension that your rafters are drawn. SketchUp likes to make a surface uh, as it creates uh, lines, as it creates an enclosed line. Um, one way to, for example, let's say we have all of our rafters are 16 inches on center. The way you can uh, create an array of an object in SketchUp is to select it, type M for move, hit Control, move it, click once, move it the distance that you want. So I want this to move 16 inches. So I type 16 inches, hit Enter. And then if you hit X, 20, that'll multiply it by 20 times. So it'll move it, it'll create 20 of that rafter. So in the roof framing plan, we're just drawing lines to represent the uh, roof framing. You don't need to actual, actually show the, the thickness uh, of each rafter right now. We're just kind of diagramming what the roof framing is going to be. And remember, so imagine we have a scenario where the roof uh, is overhanging here, right? So when you get to the edge, you're going to need lookout rafters running perpendicular to the wall. So um, imagine I have my last rafter here, and then I'm going to come in at approximately a 45 degree angle. This would be my uh, king rafter. This would get doubled up. But then I'm going to turn the corner, and each of these is going to come out perpendicular to this edge. So to copy these, I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to use M for move. I hit Control so that it copies it and doesn't just move it. I move in the direction with my mouse that I want it to move in. I type the distance, 16 inches, Enter. And then I say X, so times 15. And then it'll make 15 copies of it. You may have to delete some of the extra ones. And same thing, you'll want to come in at approximately a 45 from the corner. I'm going to hit just whatever kind of works there. Um, yeah, so you can draft your framing plan this way. And then when you're done, you can simply hide the floor plan. Before I do that, I'll probably want to draw the perimeter of the, the walls too. So I'll draw a rectangle and then just hit kind of this perimeter here. So let's say, let's say this is where our wall is. I'm going to hide this floor plan when I'm done. And so I have the location of my uh, wall and then I have the location of my roof. So this is what you're gonna do. You'll, you know, this would get filled in obviously and uh, these would be deleted. So over here, we're gonna turn the corner this way for any rafters that run off the edge that way. Okay, so you'll wanna dimension this so you can use the dimension tool. Take dimensions. Um, you'll want to call out uh, each rafter or just typical rafters. So you can say uh, two by two by twelve uh, roof rafter. RR is the abbreviation for that. So you can annotate that. So if I wanted to annotate this, I can say. Uh, two by 12 roof rafter is the art abbreviation for that. And you can uh, label all of your lookout rafters, your king rafter, 
all of that can get labeled here. All right, so that's how to create a 